Hey, Richie, I'm actually going to be attending the Indy 500 tomorrow. Are you going to be watching it on TV? Oh, yeah. In fact, I've been thinking about trying to qualify after my big go-kart win a few weeks ago. Wait, wait, wait. You came in third, Richie, which some people might refer to as second loser. Uh oh Oh, this is scary. I hate this turf. I've been in more grass than the actual track. Uh, I, Daisy, that's not really the way I remember it. I won. <laughs> Anyway, get ready to take some notes because our next guest is starting in the second row in tomorrow's big race. And here to talk about driving for 412 racing legend Chip Ganassi is an Indy 500 champion himself who is thirsty for another cold glass of milk. Back in uh, 1998, um, I was a rookie in the Champ Car Series, which was the series that we used to do prior to IndyCar. Chip came to me and says, hey, uh, I need to speak to you. I want to hire you to drive for me next year. And I thought it was totally a prank because it was my first year. I just had started and um, yeah, that's uh, that was my first encounter with Chip. Chip is the key of the success of the team. Chip, I mean, he has this hashtag, it's I like winners. And, and Chip is a real racer. That's his only business. He, uh, you know, he has every, if the team doesn't go well, Chip's life is not well, which is, he takes it extremely serious. And I think leadership comes, leadership comes from the top. And Chip knows how to hire the, the right people, knows how to connect the right people, to take the best out of people. And, and that's how he makes the team so successful. They have only one goal, which is win. talking about the Super Bowl you're winning the Super Bowl you know this is a race that every driver uh, want to win you become a legend when you win it I mean I've never since 2013 I'm always getting introduced as a, the 2013 Indy 500 Tony Kanan I just came back to Chip's team I raced for Chip five years ago um, again he has one of the best teams in IndyCar he gave me this opportunity so I can't wait for the 500 we know when I kissed the bricks this year I actually want every single fan in that and the grandstands to jump in the racetrack. We'll do a big group hug.